perfect match. Well, in the London area, at least, it's the sort of afternoon to stay indoors. And in the next hour or so, we can make it well worth your while by bringing you some enthralling football. Because our main match today is the wonderful game between Queen's Park Rangers and Manchester United. The head-on clash of two of the First Division's unbeaten teams. And our guest from that match is David Webb, the Queen's Park Rangers defender. But first of all today, we move off to West London, where Loftus Road was buzzing with the prospect of the arrival of Manchester United, their first visit of the season to the capital, and of course heading the first division table. So these are the men then who face a stern test against Queen's Park Rangers today. Queen's Park Rangers against Manchester United. It really has a ring about it. And let's first of all sort out the two teams for the game. Rangers, in fact, will field the side that won in the League Cup at Shrewsbury in midweek. And that means, as you can see, Mickey Leach keeping the number four shirt and leaving Johnny Hollins as a substitute. As for Manchester United, they've had a late shock. Brian Greenoff is unfit, so Tommy Doherty plunges another of his youngsters, 18-year-old Scottish boy Arthur Orbiston, into the defence for this uh, first game of the season. A little lucky with that one. He was a bit slow to get to it. And now Thomas. The Red Shirts are swarming back, two, four, six, seven of them in defence. Jerry Francis there winning it in the air and Houston under trouble as Leach went in and a corner to Cupia. Gillard going right up on the goal line. It's already taken though as Bowles turns it in. Gillard with a header against the crossbar. Yes! It's David Webb. Was quickly taken, it caught Manchester United out. Gillard managed to flick it on from the near post, and David Webb finished it off with a header. Jackson, well, he's given that to Thomas. What can Thomas do about it? Well, his pace carried him past the youngster there. There's the cross going in for Gibbons. Oh, my goodness! Superb play by Rangers. Capitalising on the undoubted pace of Thomas, and then as the ball came in, the sweeping skills of Don Givens just a fraction too high. Good challenge by Gillard. Now Thomas. Good ball by Thomas, and a good piece of running by Stan Bowles too. Turn to near post. Oh, and a great save there by Stepney. But above everything else, another brilliant Rangers move. Bowles and Gibbons combining so well. And Gibbons just failing to turn it in. Stepney doing supremely well for Manchester United. McClintock. Francis. So often, though, when the crowd baits Stan Bowles, it's Stan Bowles who has the last laugh. Francis. And Francis going on to take that one from Leach. The feet were high there. My goodness, those Manchester United feet were high on Jerry Francis. I don't think they've paid to get in. Massa with the free kick for Rangers. Deep towards Mickey Leach. Thomas will hope to get on this as well. He's taken down and a penalty given. A foul by Buchan. A penalty to Rangers. And this is the moment for Bowles, I would have thought, and I wonder whether they'll give it to Bowles. No doubt that when uh, Buchan challenged Dave Thomas, that the referee had no alternative to give the penalty, and Bowles now, with the chance to put Queen's Park Rangers 2-0 into the lead, and to silence those Manchester United fans who baited him for so long in the first half. Now, Stan Bowles, the responsibility on his shoulders against Alex Stepney, and Stepney has saved it the first time, and he saved it the second time. And they're getting it away now. Manchester United, no, a free kick given. But the penalty has been missed by Stan Bowles. And I wonder when the last time was that uh, Bowles, who is so good and so cool with penalties, could have missed one. But Stepney dives smartly to his right there. And Bowles was denied. To Cottle, and now to McElroy. Now Don Givens, he's all right, he's onside. All he's got to do is to find the angle and he's put it wide. Well, that was a remarkable miss there by Don Givens because he seemed to have done everything right. 
and he found a yard and screwed it just wide when in fact he got both Bowles and Thomas outside him unmarked. And indeed it was a game to savour and our congratulations to the Queen's Park Rangers administration. They'd obviously done their homework and there was very little trouble with the crowd. I think the only perplexing thing is to wonder why Rangers didn't win by more. And of course one of the reasons for that is that they missed a penalty and we thought you'd like to see again a little exchange between Stan Bowles, the man who missed it, and Alex Stepney, the man who saved it. During an interview we had on World of Sport yesterday, I asked Stan Bowles what happened. Well, you know, I've made up my mind where to put it uh, straight away, and uh, fortunately for Alex, you know, he went the right way. <laughs> Do you think he moved? Uh, well, I've got to say he moved, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> what about it, Alec? Had you made up your mind to go that way before? Um, yes, I did, yeah. Um, I'd like to know what Stan was saying to me before he took the kick, that was the main thing. What, was he, what were you saying to him before you took the kick? Well, Alec had been playing so well, I said, you'll probably go and save this one as well, and he did. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little fruitier than that, was I it? I think it was, yeah. Right, let's sort out a couple of those points. One, did Stan and Alec have words before the kick was taken? And indeed, did Alec Stepney move before the kick was taken? You'll notice now how Stan Bowles moves in from the left of the picture there. That's where he's having a word with Alec Stepney. I think Alec's probably giving him something back as well. But the other interesting thing that I want you to watch out for now is the Manchester United number nine, Stuart Pearson there. Obviously, Alex Stepney decided to go to the right, and I think Stuart Pearson in a moment, there he is, reminding him of that's what he's got to do. And away comes Stan Bowles now to kick this ball, and happily the ball is shielded by Lou Macari there. But I think you'll agree that Alex Stepney does move there quite clearly before the kick was taken. But he got away with it. He made his save. He made a brave second save there as well as Stan Bowles came in. And Stan Bowles, therefore, missed his first ever penalty in the Football League, although he's missed one in the Cup. But now let's meet the man whose goal separated those two sides yesterday, David Webb of Queen's Park Rangers. First of all, I think we ought to say how nicely Stan Bowles had combed his hair for that interview, David. <laughs> well, he's always pinching everyone's comb, so he should, he should have a nice comb there. <laughs> Pinches one or two from you. Oh, he's had about three off of me. What about your goal now? Well, I was a bit uh, fortunate in, in as much that they took the corner a bit quickly. And uh, I think Stuart Pearson dwelt a little bit as I was getting to the edge of the box. And he allowed me to get behind him. And as the ball, Ian Gill, I'd done fantastic get up and head in it. And head it against the crossbar. In fact, we see you arriving fairly late on the scene. They're at the bottom of the picture now. That's correct. I think uh, if you see he looks at me there, then he turns away and then starts to watch the ball. Therefore, gave me just a little bit of a chance to get behind him. And as in it, it's the crossbar, and it allows me just well.